the, vessel, the major vessels on the posterior abdominal wall. This is the aortic hiatus, this is the left cross, right cross, the aorta, or the abdominal aorta. The first branch is the celiac trunk. The first single branch is the celiac trunk. The second single branch is the superior mesenteric artery. The inferior here uh, obscured by the organs. The first paired artery is the inferior phrenic arteries. These two is the inferior phrenic arteries. The second paired, paired one is the suprarenal artery. Now this is the celiac trunk having this one is the hepatic artery and this one is the splenic artery that go to the hilum of the spleen with its termination accompanying together with the splenic vein. This is the portal vein, the common bile ducts, the IVC. The superior mesenteric artery, the first branch, is the inferior pancreaticodutinal artery. Pancreaticodutinal artery. Well, this is the superior mesenteric vein, also gives the so, uh, inferior pancreaticodutinal vein. These two is the common iliac vein into internal and external iliac vein, iliac arteries. These nerves that is found on the posterior abdominal wall is the aliohypogastric, alioinguinal, and femoral, which is the major branch of the lumbar plexus. The ureter on both sides, and the muscles. The muscles of the posterior abdominal wall, this is the central tendon of the diaphragm. This is the left cross or right cross of the vertebral portion, the costal portion. This is the quadratus lumbora, transversus abdominis muscle, iliacus psoas. Major, psoas minor. This is the psoas minor. The organs that is found, this is the suprarenal gland, this is the kidney, left kidney, spleen, pancreas. This is the main pancreatic duct with accessory pancreatic ducts. The transverse mesocolon, duodenum. This is the second part of the duodenum. This is the plica circularis. And this is the foramen. The major duodenum papillae will minor do the